Number 25. Abraham Lincoln was dangerous in a wrestling ring. He even made it to the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Number 24. John Tyler had 15 children, more than any other president. Two of his grandsons are still alive today. Number 23. During his presidency, Franklin Pierce was arrested for running over a woman with his horse. Charges were later dropped due to a lack of evidence. Number 22. In his youth, Andrew Johnson apprenticed as a tailor. Even as a president, he never stopped making his own suits. Number 21. James Buchanan regularly bought slaves in Washington, D.C. and quietly freed them in Pennsylvania. Number 20. Rutherford B. Hayes was the only president to be wounded in the Civil War. Not once, but four times. Four horses were shot out from beneath him. Number 19. The S in Harry S. Truman's full name doesn't stand for anything. His parents couldn't decide on a middle name for over a month, so they settled on the letter S in honor of his grandparents. Number 18. William Taft, also known as Big Bill, was the largest president in American history. He once got himself wedged into the White House bathtub and had to call his advisors for help getting out. Number 17. Herbert Hoover's son had two pet alligators, which were occasionally permitted to run loose through the White House. Number 16. Chester A. Arthur was known for his impeccable attire, earning him the nickname Elegant Arthur. As a matter of fact, on his last day in office, four women offered him their hands in marriage. Number 15. Not only was James Garfield ambidextrous, he could write Latin with one hand and Greek with the other at the same time. Number 14. While serving as sheriff of Erie County, New York, Grover Cleveland had to spring the trap at a hanging on two occasions. This earned him the unflattering nickname the Buffalo Hangman. Number 13. A small tumor that was removed from the roof of Grover's mouth resides at the Mutter Museum in Philadelphia. Number 12. Benjamin Harrison was the first president to have electricity in the White House. However, he was so scared of getting electrocuted that he would never touch the light switches himself. Number 11. Calvin Coolidge would occasionally press all the buttons in the Oval Office, sending bells ringing throughout the White House, and then hide to watch his staff run in. Apparently, he just wanted to see who was working. Number 10. Teddy Roosevelt was shot in an assassination attempt while delivering a speech in Milwaukee. I don't know whether you fully understand that I've been shot, he told the stunned audience. I give you my word, I do not care a rap about being shot. Not a rap. He completed the 90-minute speech with a bullet still lodged in his chest. Number 9. Obama's high school nickname on the basketball team was Barry Obama. Number 8. Eisenhower played a big role in popularizing golf. He installed a pudding green at the White House and played more than 800 rounds while in office, exceeding the record of any other president. Number 7. On September 2, 1944, George H.W. Bush was flying over Japan when his aircraft was shot down in the Pacific. Bush and another crewman were able to bail out, but the other man's parachute malfunctioned and he went down with the plane. Bush was eventually rescued by a submarine off the coast of Chichijima. Number 6. William McKinley almost always wore a red carnation on his lapel as a good luck charm. While greeting a line of people in 1901, he gave the flower to a little girl. Seconds later, he was shot by an assassin and died eight days later. Number 5. JFK was a huge James Bond fan. He first met the author of the series, Ian Fleming, at a dinner party in 1960. They allegedly bounced around ideas about how to get rid of Fidel Castro. Number 4. Andrew Jackson was involved in as many as 100 duels, most of which were fought to defend the honor of his wife. Not surprisingly, he was shot multiple times during his life. Number 3. Gerald Ford worked as a fashion model during college, appearing on the cover of Cosmopolitan. Number 2. Woodrow Wilson's face is on the $100,000 bill, which very few have ever laid hands on. The bills were mainly designed for trade between the Federal Reserve and banks, but fell out of use with the invention of the wire transfer. And number one, Jimmy Carter filed a report for a UFO sighting in 1973. He called it the darndest thing I've ever seen. If you liked the video you just saw, then consider clicking on the button at the top right to subscribe. Also, check out our other popular videos, 25 Unbelievably Hard to Believe Facts, and 25 Things That Will Happen in the Next 60 Seconds. If you're still itching for more, go ahead and check out our website at list25.com for a whole bunch of cool lists.